Hey everyone, Joel Hetz here, and today we're in the middle of Iowa. You can tell by all the fields, that is for sure. I'm heading to Iowa Lakes Community College to do their Laker Loin Food Challenge. Yeah, so now you're probably wondering, wait, 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 a college doing a food challenge? That is correct. So as far as our hotel and restaurant management program, they actually do a food challenge annually. This is the second annual food challenge, and I have been honored to be invited to go check out this challenge. So this is a big pork tenderloin sandwich. So a pork tenderloin sandwich is a big thing out here in kind of um, the Iowa area, in the Minnesota area, as they actually produce um, some of the most pork in the country, like in this area. Um, so I guess what a pork tenderloin sandwich is, it is essentially a pork tenderloin, which is kind of malled out or tenderized, uh, then fl like flat, kind of like a chicken fried steak in a way. Then it is breaded and deep fried. So it sounds pretty dang good, hard to go wrong. It's then served on a bun, kind of like a burger, you know, your traditional toppings, lettuce, ketchup, etc., etc. So uh, for the challenge, we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete it. Um, there's no price tag today. That being said, if we win, we'll also get the free t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting, guys. My first food challenge win in Iowa is what we're attempting today. Uh, I know they're gonna have a bit of an event. It's gonna be on stage. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. Again, super cool event, super honored to be invited to an event like this. And uh, let's go have some fun, let's eat some food. Let's try some Iowa specialties and uh, hopefully get our first, first food challenge win in Iowa. So with that, let's go eat. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming at you live from Iowa Woods Community College's Arbor and Augustine Wellness Center in beautiful Amherstburg, Iowa. Welcome to our second annual Iowa Woods Lake Illinois Challenge brought to you by our hotel and restaurant management program. Special thanks to Martin County Pork Producers for donating Martin County Magic Seasoning for the 10 to 1 and prize for this event. Feel free to check them out at martincountypork.com. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you all please rise and direct your attention to the west side of the gymnasium. We are going to be singing the United States or the Canadian National Anthem followed by the United States National Anthem. It's going to be performed, the Canadian one is going to be performed by Melody Coon, and Haley Hollegren will be performing the United States National Anthem. Good introductions there. All right, everyone, so I'm actually double mic'd here, so hopefully on the camera it doesn't sound too weird. But here we are with the Laker Loin Challenge, everybody. So, three pounds of delicious pork tenderloin, which I found it is like a really <coughs> Iowa, Minnesota thing. And by the way, it smells delicious, so huge thanks to everybody involved here. So again, we do have the 30 minutes to complete this challenge. I'm definitely excited. I'm so blessed and honored to be uh, a part of this. Huge thanks to all of you who are here to watch today. So give yourself a round of applause. Thanks so much. 
So on here we do have then the tomato, the lettuce, the onion, the pickles. We do have some ketchup. We have some mustard. We have pretty much, I think, everything we need. Um, so with that, we got some great gentlemen here joining me today. And uh, we're all hoping to get this win. So at that, let's start the second annual Laker Loin Challenge. Like I said, I'm super excited. And uh, we have a t-shirt if we win. So let's get a rockin' and rollin'. How does that sound, everybody? Woo! All right. So with that, we'll get started here just momentarily. All right. Woo! So super excited. I'm gonna start with some of these veggies. Again, I do have a whole bottle of ketchup. Shout out, they know I like ketchup, so I'm thankful for everybody here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get eating. Pickles, tomatoes. I see some different strategies. We got people eating pork, we got them cutting tenderloins. I'm just gonna get all these healthy vegetables down. Hey everyone, welcome to Zudor. Today we're here in Emmitsburg. Yes, Emmitsburg, Iowa. Here taking on the Laker Loin Challenge. Let us start though by saying how cool of a college and a college program to offer a food challenge. Seriously, huge applause to Iowa Lakes for that. There are about four or five campuses up in this area. I'm um, being about two and a half-ish hours north and a little bit west of um, Des Moines, but I gotta say super cool campuses, super, super cool colleges, and like I said, awesome. I mean, the fact that they offer a food challenge is just super cool, even if it's, you know, an annual, you know, annual thing. Well, I will say, this pork tenderloin is great. Shout out to, like, good seasonings on it, guys. My first time having a pork tenderloin sandwich, like this is part of the country, is super, like, tender, it's break apart, it's tenderized. I see why everybody likes this. Hell right, Iowa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So as we mentioned, a pork tenderloin is a very traditional Iowa food. Um, they are some of the biggest uh, pork producers in the country in this part, you know, in this area. And it is a, honestly, I'd say a simple but really good tasting sandwich. I mean, it is a piece of breaded fried pork served like a, kind of like a burger, I guess. You know, all your favorite toppings on a bun, etc. How can you go wrong? I mean, really, let's be honest. Uh, Anything fried is pretty dang good, and I like pork chops, so it's basically like a fried pork chop in a sense. I love this. The kind of breading that they uh, generally use on this pork tenderloin sandwich, I'd call it more of like a mealy breading if that makes sense, kind of like a corn, I don't know if it's necessarily cornmeal, but a mealy breading rather than, uh, which which often I will say you maybe see on like catfish, that's kind of like one of the most comparable fried items I can say I often see that breading on, whereas you know if it was more like a fried chicken or a beer batter fish and chips it's not a mealy breading it's more of like a one piece breading i hope that makes sense um but this kind of it kind of added then the, this like mealy breading added a really cool texture to it um you know i thank them for making the items uh, the pork was good i mean how can you go wrong i did have a whole bottle of ketchup there and i do love my ketchup hashtag let me know down below if you like ketchup give me a hashtag ketchup or well just don't comment if you don't like ketchup, I guess. Or give me a hashtag no. Give me a hashtag ketchup or a hashtag no um, if you don't like the ketchup. But I love ketchup. Um, but pretty sure straightforward. Like I said, a big pile of pork on the buns. We have the uh, pound of french fries as well. 30-minute um, time limit. And then it was me and then um, three individuals from different college campuses. This is awesome. <laughs>
individuals on stage with me um, did participate in an ice cream eating contest to like win their spot on stage. So I thought that was kind of cool that they literally did like a pre-contest for a contest. And uh, yeah, like that's about it. But yeah, super cool place. Um, Emmitsburg really is kind of in the countryside. It is a little bit away from the city. But I gotta say, um, that's not a bad drive, and it's really beautiful up there. Um, you know, in its own sense, there's cornfields, but there's lots of beautiful nature. Great people as well. Woo! I need a band like this to like come with me, guys. I, it's, I just feel like I'm in a movie. It's like an epic theme song to everything I do. Anyway, we're almost five minutes in. Tastes great. I have about two and a half left, all the fries. Jillian beside me is killing it. He's absolutely crushing it. Everybody's doing real well. All making their way through the pork. It is super delicious, by the way. Perfectly tender. It's actually really, really good. So like I said, pork tenderloin. Thank you, Iowa. So just getting to Iowa, my first impressions were very positive. Um, but that everybody will be, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Pretty straightforward, so 30 minutes. Ultimately, let's see if we can beat this challenge. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. I love ketchup too. All the ketchup, yeah! Also, shout out Iowa Lake Community College, guys. I don't know any other colleges with a food challenge, so coolest college ever, I gotta say that. Guys. About nine minutes, 15 seconds in. Everybody is crushing it, guys. Everybody is, all these gentlemen are about halfway done the sandwich. This gentleman's more. And uh, I'm doing not too bad. But we'll keep on trucking, keep on going. I love how you guys get so quiet. You guys can talk and stuff. Like, it's totally cool. Do your thing, guys. Just be normal. And let's have some fun. So I'm trying this out as a complete sandwich because yes, I need a part of it apart, but I gotta try the authentic Iowa tenderloin sandwich experience. So happy to do so. Again, this band rocks, guys. I, I need a band in my life. Just follow me around, please. We'll talk. We'll talk, we'll talk. We love to play. Woo! And I love you playing. Guys. Yeah. 
good. That was a jam. Anyway, we are finished here. So just over 15 inch minutes, guys. I guess that was actually delicious. So again, huge thanks to everybody here at Iowa Lakes. Really appreciate it, guys. Woo! That being said, the gentlemen beside me are still doing incredibly well, still trucking away. I'll uh, show you guys what they're looking at, but keep it up guys, doing real well. I like all the different strategies. Sometimes we're doing a little slow and sweet. I think he's just, we got ranch down there? He got some ranch, yeah! When I asked, I said, hey, what, is people, what do people normally eat these tenderloins with? And I heard ketchup, <laughs> ranch, and that was more or less it. So hey, I'm happy to have the ketchup we have the ranch down here. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that was super delicious. Uh, we'll continue as these gentlemen trek on. They got 13 minutes, 45 seconds left. So let's keep it up, guys. Everybody give it up for them. Let's go. <laughs> Doing good, guys. So doing real well over here.
Look at this, everybody. We got our shirt. The Laker Loin Challenge champion. Dang. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll speak loud so you're going to hear me first off. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here at Iowa Lakes. This has been awesome, a great experience. Everybody's super cool here. Thanks for putting on this event. Pretty cool dinner and a show, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, thanks to the gentleman came up here. You guys definitely did well. If you're not familiar, these guys actually ate, like they did the ice cream eating contest essentially to win their spot up here. So congratulations, you guys can eat some ice cream. You can definitely eat some pork tenderloins as well. And uh, with that everyone, appreciate you all. So of course, until next time, stay happy with the hungry, happy eating. And that everybody, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.